Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my daily makeup routine. Most days when I do wear makeup, this is the look that I go for. So keep watching to see how I do my daily makeup. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by throwing my hair up and getting it out of the way. So I'm just using this kind of clip. And yeah, putting that all the way up, up and away. So now I'm taking the Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer and it's in the original. I put that all over my face and just dab it on. Oh my gosh, there's a crane going past, guys, there's a crane. A crane just went past the house. How cool is that? Now I'm going to take um, the Urban Decay Primer Potion and this is in Eden, so this is the matte finish. And again, this is uh, sample size. I take a little bit of that and put it on my eyelids. Okay, now I am using the Bare Minerals Original Foundation in the color Fairly Light N10. Along with this, I'm using the foundation brush that they recommend to use together and it just says beautiful finish on it and I'll have all the products linked below so that you can go check out what I'm using. Just put the foundation on the brush, swirl, tap, and buff it on. Now I'll also take the foundation and go a bit down my neck so I don't have any makeup lines and cover some of the redness and you know, all that good stuff. Don't forget the back of your neck as well because um, you're going to have makeup lines there. Right. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Superstay uh, 24, I think it's 24 hour concealer, and I'm using that under my eyes and on any blemish spots that I have. I'm just taking the blending, um, it's called the little sponge, the makeup sponge, and blending that out. So I'm using this bronzer that I had forever. I don't even remember where or when I got it. It's from <laughs> Physician's Formula and it's the Shimmer Strips Custom Bronzer, Blush, and Eyeshadow, and it's in the color Sunset Strip Bronzer. So it looks like this. So I do the same thing as with the Bare Minerals. I swirl, I kind of rub it on here, and then I tap it off. I also like to take the bronzer and go down the neck a little bit. So turn, one side, and the other side. I'm going behind the little tendon that sticks out, and here. and then a little bit on the back and we can blend that all out later. So now that I have the bronzer on, this kind of like the contour bronzer, I kind of use it all in one. Um, I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush from Sony Kashuk and this was one of their limited edition brushes so I don't think you can get it anymore but any big fluffy brush will work and it's, you know, about the size of my palm. So I just take that and blend away. Okay, now that my bronzing and contour is all done, I'm going to go in with my blusher on my cheeks of course and I am using the Bare Minerals blusher in Giddy Pink. This is what it looks like, can you see? Anyway, so I tap a little bit of that onto the lid, swish buff, whoops, took too much. I just put that on my cheeks. Okay, so now I'm taking that big fluffy brush once again and I'm blending uh, all the blush in to the face. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Pure Radiance, and I'm going to use that as my highlighter. Okay, now the face is done, and we're gonna go in and do the eyes. So I'm using my Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay, and I'm going to be sticking mainly with the lighter colors, so over in this range. I'm going to be using the brush that just comes right along with it, and I'm going to be using the fluffy end of the brush. First off, we're going to take the color Foxy, which is this lightest color right here, and with the fluffy end of the brush, I'm just going to put that all over the tops of my lids. Okay, next we're going in with the color Tease, just this one right here, and we're still using the fluffy end of the brush, and we're just putting that right on the top. So just dabbing it like this and I'm going to put that in my crease. Now because my eyes are hooded, I'm going to find my natural crease and go up just a little bit from that so that you can see the eyeshadow when I open my eyes. 
And when you dab it on, it kind of goes in a line, of course, and then you just keep blending it out um, until you get it to where you like it. Now that the creases are done, I'm going to take the same fluffy side of the brush and go in with this color called Booty Call, and I'm going to use that as the highlight for the brow bone. Then I'm going to take the flat side of the brush and go in with the color T. Take that color and go a little bit um, under my bottom lash line. Now to line my upper lash line, I'm going to take the same flat side of the brush and go in with blackout. Then I'm going to look down into a mirror and push it into my upper lash line. So I look down and push. I go about three quarters of the way in. So now I'm going to take the Bare Minerals Lasting Line Longwear Eyeliner in the color Absolute Black and I'm going to put that on my upper waterline and into my lash line so that it makes my lashes seem extra thick and extra black because um, that just looks really pretty. I'm taking a mirror and I'm looking down to it once again and I'm just going to go in and kind of go like this. Go in and up. So this one's done and you can really see the difference between the two eyes. Such a subtle thing but it makes such a big difference. So I'm taking this white eyeliner pencil and it's from Rema London and it's in the color 071 Pure White and I'm going in and putting that on my bottom lash line. I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara in the color Intense Black and it looks like this. And I'm just gonna put that on my top lashes and take my fingers and kind of like wipe off my bottom lashes from any powder that might have gotten on them because I want my eyes to look open and awake so I'm just going to do my top lashes. Okay, so now I have the mascara on and I went back through and blended out just a little bit more because I did see some patches so I went back and blended that out. So for my eyebrows, I am using Maybelline New York, I think it's called Brow Precise by iStudio. There's a tiny bit left. So first I'm just going to take the spoolie on the end and brush through my brows and get them to the shape that I want and then I'm going to go through and fill in. So I'm pretty happy with that shape. So I'm going to take the pencil end of the brush and kind of outline and fill in very lightly, pressing very lightly. Oh. So now I filled them out and I'm going to take the spoolie and run it through a couple more times just to lighten the color up a bit, really get it evenly and dispersed through my eyebrow. So now for my lips, I'm going in with Rammel London's Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner and it's in the color East End Snob in 063. Looks like this. And I'm just going to take that and line my lip and fill it in. I do leave the whatever foundation fell onto my lips on because I feel like it helps keep the lipstick on much longer. Now that I have my lip liner on, I'm going to go in with the Burt's Bees lipstick in the color 500 Nile Nude. And it looks like this. And this is my favorite lipstick. I just, I love the color, I love the way it feels, and yeah. I'm just going to take this lip color and put it on the lips like you do lipstick. Now don't forget to do the finger thing so that you get the lipstick off and then it will get on your teeth. So that's it. That's the look completed. Um, now I just take my hair down. And I am ready to go for the day. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoy the video. I hope you try it out for your daily makeup look. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more Style by Jessica. Please leave comments down below to tell me what your favorite daily makeup look is. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, yeah, so have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye. So now for the lips, I am starting out with the Rema London Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the color East End, East End, East End, oh my god, East End. <laughs>